Your heart. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Good morning. Uh, my name is Christopher Boyer. I'm one of the past presidents of the Chamber of Commerce, and it is my great pleasure to be your MC today. And I would love to introduce you to our host. We have not one, but two hosts, so we're going to need twice the applause. Are you ready? Yes. It's Carolyn Rowe of Move Makers. Ben Richardson of Chastel Real Estate. All right. So, uh, it's nice to see all of you. Thank you for gathering here. This is uh, the Lake Oswego Friday Morning Networking, where we are the heartbeat of our local community, and we are connecting your faces to our local business places. So, uh, once again, please join me in welcoming a long-standing member, Carolyn Rowe of Move Makers. Thank you. I'm Carolyn, and I brought with me um, Deborah and also Annie. And I have a short story um, about how um, the Move Makers came in, into being. Um, about 25 years ago, um, I got a call from my parents who lived about three hours away from me, and I had three really active boys raising. <laughs> and they said, We're going to sell our 50 acre ranch with 11 buildings full of stuff and we want to buy an RV and go travel. And so after I recovered from the initial shock of that, <laughs> um, we proceeded to kind of plan out how we were going to do it. I made lots of, lots of trips over there. And three years later, they um, were off on the road into the sunset and traveled for 17 years. Wow. And so um, when I saw how happy they were and how relieved, I eventually became a professional organizer. I was in the Bay Area, San Francisco, and um, I became an organizer. And then 10 years ago, I found myself moving to Oregon where I didn't know anybody at all. So I thought, how easy, how fun would it be to hire a few employees so we could help more people relocate when they were kind of overwhelmed? And so it turned out to be not so easy because Nobody knew what a move management company was, or a move manager was. And so with the help of some really excellent branding, um, and a lot of referrals, and a lot of networking, um, 10 years later, we have 14 employees. We do a lot of moves. And, <laughs> and we, um, five years ago, earned our A-plus accreditation. We were the first company in the Pacific North Northwest I think there's only a couple now still. It's, it's a pretty hard accreditation to get. And we became, we became accredited and we're so proud of that. Um, we, so if, um, okay, I forgot the next thing I was gonna say. I'm gonna look really quick. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I had a good one. So, um, so this, is, this is a good part, okay. So if you have clients, or friends or family who need to move, but they're, they are just overwhelmed with the process of, you know, the, even the thought of moving. Um, we come out and we call us, we come out and we do a consultation. We figure out what's needed, what services, and we can do everything from preparing a house for sale, or we can, and then we can, we can do downsizing, figuring out where everything goes, and then, um, we proceed to like our team packs and unpacks, we supervise the mover, we find the right mover, um, and we just wrap it all up so they can, they can move on to the next stage of their lives. So we really, um, we really appreciate being your trusted resource for downsizing and moving, and we also appreciate having you all as our resources. So thank you very much. <laughs> I'm allergic to microphones. <laughs> so, <laughs> all I'm going to say is that I'm really grateful. Carolyn and I have been friends for a long time, and I love working with her and our team. And I just want to announce that we're doing, we do presentations, Annie and I. And so if you have any friends or clients that are overwhelmed with straightening a garage all the way up to getting their house on the market, it's on our website under events. Thank you very much. Nicholas at Edge One. Uh, <laughs> under events, you can look, and it's we have one next Tuesday, and then um, at the Marquee in Tualatin, and then in the following week we have another one in Sharpno. So if you have any friends or family that are looking just to get organized or to um, 
move in the future or just make their lives a little less cluttered, have them um, drop by and see us. So 22 years at Nordstrom's, 10 years at the Container Store, <laughs> five months at the Move Makers. <laughs> <laughs> and I wear two hats. I'm here and I also represent Twelve to Auto Body, but I'm here today to represent the Move Makers and I am so thrilled to be here. Nice. Can I say something about the Move Makers? You can say something about the Move Makers. I love the Move Makers. <laughs> love the move makers and as we all know there is no better validation than being loved yeah. right I have a lot of clients that have gone to the move makers and they just really take care of them and they really fulfill all their needs and they you know and they're really happy with them and they do a great job I've been Carolyn for what 10, 10 years yeah. or so in terms of the business and that they just keep following up and doing great well did you ever ride a bus with Carolyn I've ridden a bus with Carolyn <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, thank you. That was one of our hosts and our other host, Ben Chandler. You <laughs> don't want to correct the karate instructor. Ben Richardson. We worked that joke out earlier. <laughs> so um, I heard about actually Lake Oswego Chamber from Deborah here, and she was one of the the people that I call constantly, uh, frequently. Um, because the, the move makers are move managers. And so I'm a real estate, uh, a seniors real estate specialist, okay? So we surround ourselves with senior professionals. These folks are trained specifically to help seniors. Not just everyone, right? Yeah. But seniors. And so these are the kind of professionals I, I have on my team. And, um, you know, with seniors, there's a lot of um, transitions they go through and um, some of them are pretty serious and there's a lot of stress I mean these aren't just uh, move up buyers they're not first time home buyers these these are folks that you know <clears throat> a fall could change their life in a day and so um, what I do as a, as a specialist which differentiates me from just a regular real estate agent uh, we all you know real estate agents and, and senior real estate specialists um, we both have our expertises in, in um, helping buyers and helping sellers. This certification that I got is just a deep dive, a comprehensive look at the issues facing seniors, and there's a wide variety of them. And so um, uh, we all in real estate want to help our clients. We have a fiduciary duty to do that. That's put their interest before our own. Uh, with the seniors, part of my job is not to sell them a house or help them move. It's maybe to help them figure out how to age in place and figure out how to arrange their house, declutter, so that they don't have trip or safety issues in their home. Modify the house to bring in experts in, in construction that know how to do the modifications. It's not just the local handyman that can put the grab bars in the shower. You want somebody who knows how to drill into, you know, into, the, into tile or into marble without chipping it all to pieces. So um, that's, that's what I do. Um, I am, somebody told me not to say this, but I'm getting it. I, I geek over senior issues. <laughs> I am listening to podcasts every week on senior issues. Um, I'm constantly, you know, talking to professionals. I am touring, instead of going on real estate tours, broker tours, which I do every Tuesday, <laughs> but touring senior living communities. So that when I get the phone call, Ben, come over, my, my dad just fell, you know, he's been in the hospital for a month, we have to move him out of the house. I come over, I say, okay, you need to talk to this placement service, placing seniors in whatever care facilities that they need. And so I bring that professional in and um, stick with them the whole the whole time, make that transition less stressful and hopefully a lot smoother. That is what I do in a nutshell. So that's it. So if we don't need Ben right now, I think I will certainly need him shortly. <laughs>
it's happening. Yes, it's thank, happening. Thank you guys. I did want to say that we geek out also. <laughs> <laughs> and we also help um, non-seniors. About 20% of our business are just busy families or busy professionals. So um, I wanted to let you know that we have probably one of my favorite positions in the company open right now, and we're interviewing. And the job is... Um, it's a van driver, materials delivery to all of our teams out in the field, and, and the person with the job gets to kind of go out and, and be the hero and bring things or carry things around. So if you know anybody, please let us know, because we um, are in need, like, right now. <laughs> Do you hire teenagers? Uh, we have a bunch of teenagers oh. that help during the summer, but um, probably for the van driver, not so much. But, yeah. <laughs> the insurance goes up. Right. Right, right, right. So if you know somebody who wants to be a hero, talk to Carolyn. All right, a big round of applause for both of our hosts. This aging thing is happening right now. Don't, don't, don't look around, but it is happening right now. So if we don't need their services today, we'll probably need them tomorrow. These are, these are some good people to know. Uh, thank you all for being here and uh, welcoming our hosts. We do have a few brand new people today.